Happy 4th of July, everyone. It is day 1B of the 2019 $10,000 World Series of Poker main event. And I'm here to get you up to date thanks to our sponsors at Global Poker. But before we talk about that, there's still plenty of other events that have just finished or are about to finish. Rightio? Here we go. There was nothing mini about the amount of players that showed up for the mini main event over the past few days. 5,521 people forked up the $1,000 entry fee that had the same structure as the 10K main event, other than the length of the levels. Instead of two hours, they were just 30 minutes long. This meant that this event finished in three days rather than the 10 days that it will take for the real main event to finish. 27-year-old French pro Jeremy Sardern claimed the top prize of $630,000 and his first ever WSOP bracelet. Credit has to be given to Jeremy's heads-up opponent too. Lula Taylor was the talk of the tournament as she blasted her way through with her very aggressive playing style. She was heard to be cracking jokes every other minute to entertain her opponents and everyone on the rail. Even Jamie Kerstetter claimed on her Twitter that she would love to be a Lula Taylor when she grows up. We hope to see Lula make another deep run in the 10K main event. Six players will be returning today to finish off the $5,000 Six Max event. 850 players started this event four days ago, but today someone will win $750,000. There is only one bracelet winner left in the final table, and that is Joe Carter. He will be looking to claim his fifth WSOP bracelet. Olivia Besquet is another big name coming into the final table, and he will be aiming to win his first bracelet. Yesterday saw the $3,000 online high roller event start and finish. It took a little over 12 hours to see 434 players reduced down to just one. Ultimately, it was Brandon Dr. Octagon Adams who was the last player standing. He took down a rather impressive $410,000 and his first WSOP bracelet. Two-time bracelet winner Calvin Anderson came in fourth place after being chip leader for most of the night at the final table. He ended up in a three-way all-in with Queens against Adams Aces and the Ace-10 of Michael Valnier. Adams Aces would hold in this hand which ultimately catapulted him to the chip lead and from there he never looked back. The last Limit Hold'em event of the series will finish today. 15 players are returning for the $10,000 buy-in and they will be looking to take down the first place prize which is worth just over $300,000. Josh Arie, John Raisner and Elia Lesra are a few bracelet winners that are still in contention. It is, however, Mike Lancaster who comes into the day as chip leader. In fact, he also finished as day two with the chip lead and finished third in 2015 in the $1,500 version of this event. I'm sure he will be looking to maintain his chip lead throughout the day and win his first WSOP bracelet. The special $500 salute to Warriors will crown a winner tomorrow as this event takes a day off for the 4th of July. 1,723 players entered this event, which saw $40 of each entry being donated to the United Service Organizations and other veteran organizations. Eight players will be coming back to battle for $128,000, which awaits the champion of this event, and there will definitely be a new bracelet winner, as none of the returning players have a bracelet to their name. Taylor Carroll will come into the final table as an overwhelming chip leader. Carroll retired from the US Air Force in 2015 after spending the best part of six years at Barksdale Air Force Base performing maintenance on the B-52H bomber. Good luck out there tomorrow, Taylor. It really would give that fairy tale ending if a US veteran were to win this event. Right, let's get down to the real business now. It is day 1B of the main event, which means that yesterday there was the first full day of the 2019 main event. 1,335 ponied up the $10,000 entry fee yesterday for day 1A, with 960 managing to find a bag at the end of the day. Some notable names that will be returning in a few days for day 2AB are former main event champions Kui Win and Chris Moneymaker. Kelly Minkin, Eric Seidel and 2019 GPI Player of the Year Alex Foxen also managed to find themselves a bag at the end of the day. Talk of the day, however, was how a poker couple powerhouse managed to find themselves seated at exactly the same table. Liv Barry found herself opposite her boyfriend, Igor Kurganov. Later in the day, Dan Smith then sat down next to Igor. Some were calling it the table of death. Eventually, Igor knocked out Liv, which then resulted in Liv posting a photo on her Instagram with possibly the caption of 2019. The post by Poker News Live reporter Chad Holloway read, Bari busted by her boyfriend. Bari's response, no one's busting on anyone tonight, that's for damn sure. Unlucky Liv, let's just hope Igor puts your stack to good use. Faraz Jacker found his table breaking late on day one. No, no, quite literally his table broke as he tweeted out, our table just broke, like literally broke. Thankfully, we sensed it and used our hands to hold it before chips flew everywhere. Even played a pot out one-handed. So as you can see, we've had only one day of play here in the main event, but it hasn't been short of drama. I'm sure there'll be plenty more weird and wonderful stories for today in day 1B. 
In fact, day 1B of the main event is already in full flow today and so far there have been 1,500 players that have entered. The turnout has been huge so far with yesterday's day 1A up a massive 48% from last year's day 1A. This has started some whispers in the corridors of the Rio that 2019 could actually be the biggest World Series of Poker main event ever. I'm going to play devil's advocate and predict that we might just be short of that number with 8,593 players entering. Remember, the largest ever main event was Jamie Gold's 2006 memorable $12 million win where 8,773 players entered. Let us know in the comments below how many players you think will enter this very special 50th World Series of Poker main event. That's all the news from today. And if you're not here in Vegas and feel like you're missing out on the poker action, then check out Global Poker, which is the home of online poker in America with over a million registered players. As we are at the end of this daily news roundup, it probably is worth mentioning that this is also my last day for poker news at the WSOP this summer. Thanks for following along with all of my videos. I've had an awesome time and hopefully I'll see you again in the near future. Hashtag looking for work. I'm Oliver Biles for pokernews.com.